Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 13. And Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. Call law Yahweh, Ba Shim Yahshai, Ba Shim Kakadash, Shalom unto the elect and the remnant of the children of Israel. My name is Brother Daniel Allah from the province in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. Devil honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone. We will well. Peace and salutations to the Akim who pushed out this book with truth and sincerity. Also, brought a thought to the Akwa for our listening as well. Came across this video. Let's play it. A young man is covered in a grotesque rash. The flesh on his hands and feet is turning black. Necrosis has set in. What caused this terrible infection? Would you believe leftover chicken lo mein? He went to the refrigerator and helped himself to some leftover Chinese food from the night before. Within minutes, he became seriously ill. The student was rushed to the ER. His kidneys shut down. His heart and lungs failed. The diagnosis, meningococcal septicemia, a deadly bacterial infection. Most of his fingers and his legs below the knees had to be amputated to save his life. Leftover food should be refrigerated as soon as possible. All right. That's insane. All right. That's insane. Let's play it again. A young man is covered in a grotesque rash. The flesh on his hands and feet is turning black. Necrosis has set in. What caused this terrible infection? Would you believe leftover chicken lo mein? He went to the refrigerator and helped himself to some leftover Chinese food from the night before. Within minutes, he became seriously ill. The student was rushed to the ER. His kidneys shut down. His heart and lungs failed. The diagnosis, meningococcal septicemia, a deadly bacterial infection. Most of his fingers and his legs below the knees had to be amputated to save his life. Leftover food should be refrigerated as soon as possible. All right. So, as you can see here, you know, this young man ate leftover Chinese food. That was... That was left out and then put back in the refrigerator. Now, in the past, when I used to eat a lot of Chinese food, you know, um, I never had this kind of problem. But it seems like the food is getting worse. It's getting worse year by year. So this man, he just got really really unlucky by eating the, uh, his friend's Chinese food. Now, there was a video, a longer video, where they uh, explained, it, explained it in detail, where they said it was left out. Then it was put in the refrigerator. And, uh, and, they didn't, and uh, he didn't know that his friend got sick from it. So, he just took his friend's food and ate it. And now he got sick from it. And now he's going through all these uh, afflictions. And now he's going through all these uh, like kidney failures. And, and now he's getting his, uh, some of his body parts amputated, meaning being cut off. Just by eating leftover Chinese food. Not that scary, man. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. A well-known scripture that we use. Let me highlight it. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the ha into the hands 
of the living God. I'm going to read that again. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, of the living power, man. So, apparently this man, he was hungry, but, you know, out of nowhere, in a matter of minutes, he felt pain. He felt afflictions. He was rushed to the hospital, and now he got to get his fingers and his legs cut off. And his kidney went to a dialysis, meaning uh, a kidney failure. So now he got to be on a, um, on a machine. A machine now, so, so he can keep his kidneys. So that is absolutely scary, man. Imagine, man, you just, you just normal one day and you just eat leftover food. And now you're about to lose your legs and your fingers. To me, that's very scary. <laughs> Excuse me. To me, that's very scary, man. That's why we must fear the Lord. We must fear the Lord, man. You have to fear the Lord. The Lord said to fear him. You got to fear the Lord. This is the book of Ecclesiastes. Notice I rock in the Apocrypha. Chapter 23 verse 27. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. I'm going to read that again. Syrach Ecclesiasticus chapter 23 verse 27. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord. And that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. You see? So there's nothing better than the fear of the Lord. And there's nothing sweeter than to keep the commandments of the Lord. That's all the Lord wants from you. Is to fear Him and keep the commandments. Because that's the whole duty of man. And then on that. This is, this is in the Bible, all right? This is the book of Ecclesiastes, which is uh, of King Solomon. Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. I'm going to highlight it right here. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High. Fear God fear, and, and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. All right, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. That's all the Lord wants from you, is to fear him and to keep the commandments. That is the whole duty of man. Okay? And if once you once you do that, he will protect you from them kind of things. He will protect you when you pray over your food, so you won't catch any affliction from that defiled food. Okay. Or he he will save you in several or many situations within your life, so you won't be judged. Just by fearing him and just by keeping his commandments. All right, I'm going to play the video one more time. A young man is covered in a grotesque rash. The flesh on his hands and feet is turning black. Necrosis has set in. What caused this terrible infection? 
Which would you believe leftover chicken lo mein? He went to the refrigerator and helped himself to some leftover Chinese food from the night before. Within minutes, he became seriously ill. The student was rushed to the ER. His kidneys shut down. His heart and lungs failed. The diagnosis, meningococcal septicemia, a deadly bacterial infection. Most of his fingers and his legs below the knees had to be amputated to save his life. Leftover food should be refrigerated as soon as possible. All right, so I hope this class was edifying to the uh, who this class was edifying to the elect. Till next time, I say shalom.